Hey guys, welcome back to Zelda, Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. I can't remember the title of the game I'm playing, but I do remember my name is Brysol, so we're halfway there. Anyway, let's move on with our lives today, and we're gonna go on to the uh, second palace. Hey, no bad freaking touch. Seriously, cut that out. Oh, these guys take forever to kill, and those bombs get way too close. And you drop bombs, what kind of ridiculousness is this? Anyway, I don't remember how the hell I got in here, because it has been a couple days since I played, and, you know, this is how things do. Seriously? Where do I go here? Good lord. What a start. There we go. My god. Oh yeah, we gotta wander through the big thing. Hopefully we don't get accosted by more ruby-grubbing uh, monkeys. That is for sure. No, 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 no. There you go. Anyway, we're gonna move on to the second uh, palace in the Dark World today. People have been asking, am I going to Secrets Break? And the answer is no, I'm not going to Secrets Break on that. I don't need to get the third level sword too early. I mean, that's no fun. Spoilers, by the way, there's a third level sword. Go away. Alright, these guys are a little more aggressive. Oh, I'm sure you drop red when I'm full. Oh, good lord. That could end it badly. Anyway, let's just get going. And, uh, yeah, I could go all that way, but where's the fun in doing that? Oh, god, this is not the place I want to be. Oh, wait, maybe I should put on, like, a boomerang. Or maybe I should throw the boomerang with some accuracy. Oh, he didn't die like I expected him to. Go away. Good lord. Not doing too well here. And here's why we couldn't go there before. You need to have the hammer to go boop, boop, and boop. And that is exactly what we want. Oh, goody. Haha, <laughs> sucker. Some of the skulls come to life in the dark world. And by some, I mean a fair amount of them. Can I smash this? No, I can't. The bomb shop. The bomb shop is an interesting place. We can't do anything with it until a little later. It's where Link's house used to be. Let's go in right now. Right now, I think all they got for sale is regular bombs. Yeah. I don't need them, so no. It's a lot of money to spend on bombs, in all honesty. Anyway, let's go see where we gotta go here. We gotta go down there. So how about we go back to back this way to where there's stuff we wanna use. Yeah, there we go. Sounds like a plan, Stan, as they say. Alright, alright. That guy there, that, that orange looking flower guy, he shoots his tongue at him and will steal your uh, sword, if you're not careful. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, good lord, how am I not getting hit here? I was just trying to be stupid and use my hammer as a weapon. Why I think that's ever a good idea, I don't know. Anyway, let's, uh, let's look at some things. So this is where we want to go. However, we get here, You'll notice that there's just this going on. We are stuck down here. We can't get up to that ladder. You'll say, oh man, how are we supposed to get up there? And the answer to that is, let's see. Oh yeah? Well, that's good to know. I'm sure that doesn't apply right at this moment, right? No, well, it totally does. And for those of you who've played, you know how this works. And for some of you, you, uh are also thinking, okay, I know what he's going to do, because I've seen him do this before to get a heart. And this is why I could have left that piece of heart till, uh, till the tail end of everything. But I didn't. Because it's nice to have an extra piece of heart. I guess I could refill on this little fairy here. Oh, that's a good throw. Oh, I'm losing all my magic. Even better. I'm, I'm good. I don't know if you've noticed, I'm really, really good at using magic. Anyway. Good lord, I'm going to be out of magic here at this rate. <laughs> I'm not worried about it now, but there's some later dungeons where, you know, you can actually legit run out of magic, goofing around. Like, that's just magic powder, it's not a big deal. Now there's one of those fish. I think you can also throw them back into deep water and they'll be like, yay, thank you, and I think they'll throw you like a few rupees as a pittance. I believe. Anyway, let's move on here with the this little palace. I'm not sure what this one's called. It does not ring any bells, but uh, we'll soon see. Oh, you guys are really annoying, you know that? Yeah, you can go away. Oh, that got me something. Those water things are annoying. I don't think you can kill them. That's kind of a pointless key, really. I guess it's just there in case you try to skip them. So they make you have to fight them, but... It seems like a rather pointless endeavor to me. Really? Let's just keep plowing along. Oh, we got a key. There's a bomb spot up here, so let's, uh, let's try bombing that. Wow, that almost got me. Yeah, that's right, I blocked it. I'm fancy. And good thing we did. Just a map, not really worth it. I was kind of hoping 
to see uh, something better than that. What do we got here on a map anyway? We got only three floors. It's not the most complicated place, so that's cool. That is cool. That means I'm less likely to get lost? Probably not, but who knows? Who the freak knows? Maybe I'll pull it off here and look like I did more in the light world, where I did fairly well at uh, not getting lost. Oh, those... I forgot those guys even existed. I'm not really a fan of those guys. Especially the little splitting in half guys. Oh, and by the way, wherever you are, if, you're ho if, you're, if your B button is pressed, that guy will shoot. So, uh... Be sure not to stand writing above or below them when you, uh... Oh, that's a good key to get. To be sure not standing above or below them when you, uh... uh are you swinging your sword or to the sides, because they will hit you. Well, that also was not a hard key to find, thankfully. You're dead. See, that doesn't stun them. That's sort of annoying. I disagree with that. Just to be thorough, we'll do that. And then we'll push this. There we go. You just push that and it'll magically fill up with water that flows in a very non-realistic form. But who am I to complain, honestly? Oh, hello. That is hollow. Let's see what we got right there. Maybe the bomb guy had an idea of giving me bombs. Too bad I didn't buy any, but I'll be alright. What do we got? A bomb and rupees. That's kind of pointless. Thanks, game. I'm glad that I did all that work for five rupees I didn't need. <laughs> That's fed freaking tastic all right all right can we move this no we can't i didn't think so i didn't bother checking i assumed that we'd have to do more than just push that to get where we needed to go whoa hello i think you can disrupt those water shots by uh swinging your sword at them don't quote me on that but i will give it a try once the opportunity arises here <laughs> sucker you got taught a lesson I don't know if I'm supposed to be in this area yet or not, but, uh, we'll see. Yeah. Yeah. Smash in, and a crash. And well, we're back to full health, so that, uh, that could be potentially useful. There really wasn't... Oh! Compass. Alright. Yeah, kind of a pointless little, uh, side trek. So let's see, where is the, the master of disaster here? Appears to be there. Okay, so... Really, this is a pretty short little place. I must say to myself, I'm fairly impressed with how short it is so far. I'm sure there's going to be some kind of go around, and there's the big treasure box. We just need to find the big key. Alright, I got rid of him real easy, and uh, nice lemon squeezy, as they say. Oh, those fire snakes are a bit of a pain. Alright, there must be a crystal around here somewhere. Not in any of these things I'm looking, mind you, but there must be a crystal in here, right? Can't push these, can I? Nope. All right. Crystal? Crystal? It's up there. Darn it. That means we got to go back out in that main hub and then go uh, up there and hit that one. All right. Fair enough. Go away, fire snake. No one likes you, except for maybe other fire snakes. Do you think uh, do you think fire snakes get together and hang out and, like, you know, just, just do stuff together? Oh, hello. Goodbye. I need a key. Don't get hit. That was kind of silly of me, but I got away with it. I need a key. Give me a key. Seriously? How am I missing a key out of this mess? Alright, I'm back to normal. I'm lost. Fantastic. Because I can't get across to those items. And I can't do anything in here, so... What do you want from me, game? Wait a minute, was there skulls on the floor in here that I just didn't look at? There's this one, but I assumed I looked at it. No, there's a key right there. Good lord. Sounds like fun and not on a butt. That's what I get for not exploring fully. Oh well. Also, when you're charging, he'll uh, apparently spit. Interesting. Let's get the bombs off before I actually bomb myself. Alright. I don't think those guys on the wall will pop hearts. At least I haven't seen them do it, in my recollection. Oh, that was close to me getting electrocuted. Seriously? Just die. Thank you. Alright, let's go. No, you have a heart. Excuse me, excuse me. Just let me by. Thank you. Fill it with water so I can continue moving around like a, a hoofenberry. Now, one thing I... Can I push this? No. I was wondering if I could trap that uh, 
wonderful little trap there. But sadly, no, I can't. Oh! Didn't even see him coming to get me there. He was looking to bite my butt, man. Nah, cool. Oh, shucks. Here. You get that. For daring to pop out of the ground behind me. <clears throat> Not the most threatening of people. Oh, good lord. I actually walked into... Seriously? Seriously, just die. Goodness gracious. Uh, that's really unfortunate. Oh, well, let's do it this way. Yes, I can break those up. Nice. Nothing up here? Oh, there's an item. That could be the big key right there, judging by its location. So this is one where I actually get to push the blocks instead of not push the blocks. Fair enough. Eh, yeah, sucker. They're gonna kill you because you dropped a heart before. Not this time, unfortunately, but you have done it in the past. And that is what we want out of out of our enemies in this game. Oh, I didn't think he could reach me where he was. Alright, we got a couple spots to jump down. Oh, just get out of here. Let's go down this one first. I don't know if this is going to lead to good or bad. I think it leads to the yeah, it leads to this spot, which I was hoping is the big key. But it's not. Thanks a lot, game. Alright, back up we go. Try the other one. Because, you know, what isn't uh, a Zelda thing a little fun if not for fake treasure chests that aren't very useful to us? I'm down three and a half hearts. Ye guts. These guys are doing a bit of a number on me. What's down here? Hearts? Yeah, I like hearts. There we go. Well, this has got to be the last option, so this has to be the correct one, right? And of course, I don't have the crystal in the right position for what I need. Good frigging night. One second, I'm going to go reset that crystal in that one room, and I'll be back to that and drop in. Alright, so let's get this moving here. See if this is what we need. It looks like this is a good spot to refill, or are they just going to give me useless money? Thanks for the useless money, jerks. Alright, now i got to hike my way back to that main room. You'll join me there when I get the big item. The big fancy item of fanciness. Alright, we are back, and we are going to kill that guy. And then we're going to go get this delicious item. Yeah! Boing! It's the hook shot. <laughs> Boing. <laughs> Thank you for the giving me um, the grade 5 level of awesomeness. And this is what the hook shot does for you. Basically, it's awesome in a can. And the hook shot also can be used as a weapon. Some enemies are actually weak to the hook shot, which makes it a wonderful thing to use on them. I knew there was a key in here somewhere. If I looked long enough, I'd find it. Okay, I gotta get out of here. There's way too much stuff going on here. See? It's an awesome weapon. Alright. And this room gives a very good example of how to use it, because it makes you explore all around to find a key before you can move on with life. Alright, over here... Oh, and the hookshot's also good for this. You can, you can use to kill these guys from a safe distance, even if they're electrical at the time. No, there's a door here. Okay, what do we got over here? We got a door and a door. Okay. Well, let's start over here. There's less danger over here. That usually means better things for me. As we've learned... My combat skills are not so snuff-filled, or however that saying goes. Uh, that's not what I meant to do. There we go. And the hookshot will actually stun those enemies. They won't just bounce off them and make you feel like an idiot. Oh, good lord. You guys suck. Ah, I saw that coming. Nothing for killing those guys? Can I pull this? No. I think there's some statues that look like that you could actually pull on their tongue and make them get hurt. This is probably not the way I need to go, but let's go this way anyway. No, it is not the way we need to go. Of course the game would troll me like that, because it's an e too easy of an access to the basement. Go away. Man, these guys always regenerate, which is annoying. But it is what it is. Alright, so I guess we'll need to do it this way. Actually, before we even do that, there is a... Um, I don't like how you can bounce around the corner like that. That's not cool. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's just go down the stairs for a minute. This will lead to somewhere fancy free. Uh, we, okay, so we have to go to the other one. Alright, okay, fine. If we're going to play the game like this, you guys are going to be jerks to me, I see. Yeah, holding your sword out will take care of those guys for you, which is nice. There we go. Yeah, the hookshot basically replaces your boomerang, because it can 
stun more enemies and it definitely kills more enemies. And it also extends and, and retracts much quicker than the boomerang does, so it's win-win-win here, honestly. Alright, let's go. Take that. I'm just going to walk down right between... Oh, he just disappeared. I guess he didn't like my attitude. So if we do that... Oh, nice little appearance of the drain at the bottom. Just magically. So if we do that, if we go back up top here, theoretically we should be able to uh, get to those treasures now, right? Unless that doesn't stay drained when you're off the... Wow, I should have been electrocuted hard there. Got away with it. Not going to complain. Just going to move forward. Happy as a clam that it worked. So let's go see those treasures. They could be really good, but probably not. They're probably just going to be stupid rupees or... Actually, they can't be the map or... Even those guys died away. Nice. But it's not a map or a compass. We already got those. So there could be a key in here. Rupees. And rupees. So it was a waste of my time to come here. Perfect. Where does this lead me? Oh, wow. I can even blow it up with the... Uh, with that. That's cool. Oh, I didn't actually need to. I could have just gone down and got it that way. Oh, well. Either way, I'm there now. And that's good enough for me. What do we got here? We got a water thing looking for my blood. Alright, so we have that. Wow, that was neat. I was using the wrong item and hoping that was going to work. Guess I got to push one of those blocks, I bet. Whoa, sneak attack. Not nice, dude. Let's just get out of here. Go! Alright, push one of these blocks. If this will piss off. No. If it'll piss off. No. If it'll... Alright, we got a treasure chest for rupees. That's no good. Seriously, they give you a lot of rupees. Do I have to spend money soon in the game? Because they're really just chucking them at me. Alright, then my next theory is i got to go through one of these waterfalls. Yeah, they would do that. They would totally do that to me. Just gotta be careful with the hookshot. See, if I miss and it attaches to one of those skulls, it'll just pull me right into the enemy there, and it won't be so funny when it happens. I mean, to me. To you guys, it'll probably be hilarious. I see. Give me all that delicious, delicious magic. Alright. Oh, good lord. Don't start make. Don't! What are you doing? Why are you... Is there a current? Is that why I'm struggling here? Yeah, there is a current. Okay. Yeah, I can't hit them either. That's a pain in the ass. Alright, get over here. Alright, let's go. Go, go. Alright, I don't think I need to go up here, but we'll bomb it anyway. So there's a key door there. So let's see what we got. I'm assuming it's a refill spot. Yeah, it looks good to me. Go away. Giving me bombs, which I probably... I was actually expecting more hearts than this, but I didn't need them, so... Which is rare, I know. There we go. Let's go. Alright, let's put the hookshot on. I'm assuming I'll need it for the boss. That is a pretty typical Zelda thing, to use the, ha the thing. And yes, I know, I could've used the hammer on the last boss. And all you gotta do for this guy is pull the body parts off him. Makes him vulnerable. And this first part is pretty academic. Yeah, you can do that all you want. I was just right out of your range. I'm sure that was intentional, too. Not! Let's just keep going. Let's just keep doing. Yeah! Murdering your body parts. It's a good time. That was actually pretty fancy of me to use the charge like that. I'm not gonna lie. It was probably the greatest moment in the history of everything. Alright. Now, this guy likes to come flying in like that. And all you gotta do is just dodge him when he lands. Oh, really? Oh, well. Not that the beam does me any good in this fight anyway. Actually, let's charge this thing up. Oh, of course, I missed with it. Um, do you want to maybe come near me? That'd be nice. Alright, that works. Yeah, there we go. Not a hard guy to beat, that's for sure. This is why I don't think sequence breaking is really a necessary part of this game. Oh, I finally screwed one up. I don't get the swirl. Darn. Took a while, but it happened. That's like a new best for me easily. 
Gotta do something the best on this run. At least this dungeon went a lot better, too. Anyway, let's see what the Crystal Maiden here has to say. Looks like she's just telling me I'm number one, and not flip me off, but actually like, you're number one! You're number one! It's like, awesome! Do you think Ganon would wish for something better than this? Well, that sucks for him. Huh. The evil king of darkness! A little, a little over the top, but alright, sure. We'll accept that. Alright, cool. Anyway, guys, that was a fun little run there, but uh, I think that's good. So join us next time. We'll move on and explore a little more of this world and maybe even go tackle another palace. It's going to be a good one. Join us then.